Innsbruck and Austria, the eighth and final stop on the BMW IBSF bobsleigh and skeleton World Cup Tour. And in this crazy season, we're back in the Austrian Tyrol for the third time. Martin Haven and John Morgan getting ready to watch the action with you for the Women's Monobob World Series. And John, with the way that the mild weather has left this track very bumpy, this could be pretty lively stuff. Well, you know, the sleds are all the same. Everybody's got their own runners. Uh, it's been a very interesting World Cup series so far for this monobob sport in its, you know, initial season. Brianna Walker's start record, while well, she won the event here in Innsbruck in December, which was exciting. Uh, you know, here we are up at the top. There's just no mistakes allowed. If you watch the two-man broadcast, this is where Hansi Lochter made his big mistake coming up right here. He skidded sideways and fell out of the, off the podium. And now into the Kreisel. It'll be interesting to see with the way these monobobs shoot out into curve eight. Curve nine, very pivotal part of the track. This is very bumpy in here, Martin. This is where we're gonna notice that. Curve 10 into the fastest part of the track, the Labyrinths, and we saw a couple sleds challenge in the second to third Labyrinth, and Brianna Walker also holds the track record. I don't know what we're gonna see for track record, Martin. Uh, conditions, you were here, you, you were on the race in, uh, in December. It was a little colder, I think, better speed conditions, yeah. but we wish it, shall it find out. Yeah, it definitely was. It was colder. The ice was really smooth in December, but it's been pretty mild the last week or so, and it's getting chopped up. Alana Myers-Taylor, Mariama Yamanka, definitely among our potential front runners, and a chance for the first time in 2021 for a new winner, because Kaylee Humphries has stepped away from Monobob for this weekend. It is definitely going to be part of her future, but she just wants to give herself a little bit of mental breathing space. She's had three different two-man sleds in the last three weekends and Monobob to deal with, so she's given somebody else a go. And that means we've got a couple of rookies in our field. Lisa Marie Bukvitz, former break woman, who's a junior world champion silver medalist from uh, last week. Also an Olympic champion break woman with Mariami Amanka there. And Alyssa Rissling makes her debut as well. As Melissa Lotholtz, she is in a race off here with Cynthia Appiah to decide who gets the third spot in the World Championships for Canada. So there, Lotholtz working her way down the track in her head and in her body as well. Anne Van Yurnhaus will be the first of our 15 sleds. Kim Kilicki, Yuran Kim, Brianna Walker, who, as you say, won here in Innsbruck in December. Dan Young, Anastasia Makarova for Russia, head of Cynthia Appiah, Najesta Segova. She's been a winner as well in Winterberg, Katy Bile, Andrea Greco, and the rest of the field. So we start with Anne Van Yurnhaus, and for Anne, this has been really a huge learning experience. And she said, compared her start to her start in a two-man, you should see how much her brake woman, Sarah Ertz, brings to the two-man party. Said, brake women often don't get all the shout-outs they deserve. Well, for Anne, this sled weighing over 175 kilos, minimum empty weight of the sled is 162, maximum weight 247, including the driver. So she is pushing one of the heaviest sleds in the field. She's one of the lightest drivers. Yeah, the smallest in height. Former basketball player, Martin. Possibly not NBA so, height. Nope. Um, a little loud. Again, it's bumpy. Keep your eyes on the speeds. I mean, Ann's the rabbit, and she's not perfect out of the Chrysler, you know, and 14th and 15th in the previous two events she's been in. So she's not figured it out. She's going to give up a lot of time at the start, but these are good lines, Martin. The, a lot of gremlins on that track last week in Codexy for everybody. Yeah. 56 one of, things, one of the things they're all trying to figure out is what these sleds need in terms of runners. Talk to Kaylee after last week's race, and she said, yeah, I still like a fat runner on the front, which is good for speed, but she said, yeah, as narrow as you can get on the back. There's no weight over the back axle. It walks around behind you. 
so, and everybody's trying to work out what's best. There was a lot of walking around behind you last week in Koenigsee, especially in the mm -hmm. bottom part of the track. It was a little bit like dirt track racing a couple times. <laughs> yes, it was. It was. Tokyo drifting, Kaylee said. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. it's, uh, uh -huh. Hey, for the, anybody in auto racing, they could identify with a lot of that happening last yeah. week in the... Look at the bouncing. Yeah, we agree. We said it was going to be bouncing. <laughs> well, let's see what Kim Kalicki makes of it. Like Anne in her third race only in these sleds. Previous years, there were monobobs, but they didn't have that split, the articulation that allows them to drive much more like a two-seat sled. It's basically the same dimensions as a normal two-seater sled. Pilot sits a fraction further back to get the balance in the middle of the sled. So the start record's 86, Martin, correct? Yeah, it is. I, I don't think we're going to get there. I mean, it was beautiful no, in December. Glassy ice and quick as you yeah. like. And, and Kalecki's a good starter. Yeah. And, you know, hasn't medaled yet in the 7th and 10th in her two events. And, uh, uh, you know, I think she's one of those who can drive anything. 50 hundreds, well, 55, 48 the track record. Ann's down in uh, 56, 42. I don't think we're going to see a record. We're going to see a sub 56 here, though. Um, 56, 55, 90? 55, 86. Yeah. So we're, we're still 38 hundreds. So now. Now finding Don't know. I mean, so Martin. Kim, Kim got seventh and fourteenth. It looked like seventh yeah. and tenth. So Kal the last time. Kalicki's two runs in December were a fifty-six one seven in the first heat and a fifty-six twelve in the second. So actually, she's three tenths quicker than she was in December. Well, she's probably got a little bit more time in the front seat of this sled. You know, look how bouncy it is, though. It is. <laughs> yes. Mask on. Well, next up, Kim Yuran from Korea. This is only her second race in these new sleds. She was in fourth in Koenigsegg, her first time driving these new articulated sleds built by a high-tech company in Munich called Ixent. They also make uh, high-tech production machinery, one-off prototyping, and they are making two-man sleds as well. Brad Hall's already got one. He's Drake raced it. Kaylee's raced it. The Barton, this was the breakout name from last week's Mata Bob race mm -hmm. in Kodixi. She had one of the worst starts and she was in fourth, and Martin in the second run, she had a chance to challenge for a medal. And uh, so again, this was, you know, the rest of it. There were some people who didn't perform very well and so and so, but to me, this was the story. Kelly Humphreys winning, uh, well, Kelly Humphreys has won a lot, but not this athlete here. So it'll be interesting if she can overcome the start deficiency, and she was, 2200s down at the start, and she's only like 3000s down at this point. Yeah, she was starting two tenths only slower 25. than winner Kaylee yeah. last week in Koenigsegg, but she started four tenths slower than the fastest starter, Cynthia Appia. So Appia may this. well Look be again she's... our fastest starter, but that's a great run from Kim Uran. That's a great run again. So, whatever runner she's got on. Yeah. I mean, you and know, I, I'm sure everybody's looking at that. Driving, only her second time driving these sleds. It's only her third race in a monobob. So you know you get drivers Let's who take can a look drive two-man, but, but not four-man. She might be a monobob and not a women's bob racer. Let's watch the start here to see how she gets in. This is a little different because they got to get in and they got to climb up. That's a little different than they're used to jumping <laughs> over. I mean, it's a brakeman move, and it's a brakeman move plus an extra step. Yeah. Um, wow. I mean, the, she's doing everything right. I mean, that's a perfect line into eight. And this is out of 10. Does she tap before the takeoff? Just a little bit on that sidewall. 
I think she likes Bada Bob. I think she's getting the hang of them real quick. Our fourth starter then is Brianna Walker. This is her 11th monobob race. She was the dominant force last year. She won here in Innsbruck as well. They had two races in Innsbruck, one in the World Cup weekend that she won. The following race, the Europa Cup weekend, Melissa Lotholz won from Cynthia Appiah. Star, star record, record, 583. Broke her own start record. Wow. Yeah, there you are. I said we wouldn't so. get close. <laughs> Well, good thing we didn't bet on it. Uh, 3,800 lead. This is only going to grow out to 45 or 50. Then she might start giving some back, but uh, there's the 45. I think she's going to stay right about 45, 50 hundreds. The next clock, 48. She's still pulling out. Wow. Yeah. You know, Martin, she didn't do that great in Codexy last week, but in Codexy. You know, there's gremlins all over the track here that's yeah. point it in the right direction. Don't steer, let it go. And she's doing that. Track record? Yes! Wow. <laughs> okay, Brianna, listen, I think she was still, <laughs> Matthias Burma there, the coach. I think she was a little stung by the fact that she was not in the medals in Samaritz or in Koenigsegg. She was, where was she, seventh and ninth? You know, I think she expected to be doing better. She what? has done better. That's a great well, run. Well, doing better. She's six, 1,600 better than anybody <laughs> at the start. I mean, Kalicki's a good starter. Look at this technique. See, there's going to be a different tech. By the time we get to the Olympics next year, there'll be some different techniques. Someone's going to perfect the best. And, you know, you don't have to, you know, from the brakeman spot, look at her. She has to step up now. There's another. Yeah. Martin, that's not easy. I mean, there's going to be mistakes made. She almost made a mistake there, you know, of getting in right when the drive lines end. This wasn't perfect. Now, watch the sled bounce. Boom, 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 boom. It's like a little wash. You know, hey, Brianna, track record. Yeah. She's creating a whole new awareness of bobsledding in Australia as a result of her performances. Next up, Anastasia Makarova. She was in the Junior Worlds last week in a regular two-seater sled, 22 years old, sixth in Winterberg, 10th in Samaritz. And she did a couple of races at the end of last year in the old sleds in Lillehammer and in Koenigsegg. Mark, the old nice sleds. Load. I went out to Lake Placid. The old sleds, I was out in Lake Placid last year watching them come down. They were all over the place. There were those plank sleds. And, and uh, you know, I sort of told a lot of my TV colleagues, my NBC people, that this is going to be exciting. These sleds are you know, all over the place, and it's going to be good to watch. But these sleds here are not like those. These sleds here, the athletes have a lot more control. And, you know, again, they're all supposed to be exactly the same, except for the runners. Yeah, but rewind one week, John, uh, and think what Koenigsegg looked like compared to Innsbruck. So it's not just the sled. The track has a big effect on how easily or otherwise they are to drive. Yeah, because Brianna Walker was like top eight last week, right? Yeah. Seven last week. So seventh in St. Moritz, yeah. ninth in Koenigsegg. This run here, yeah. uh, Makarova's, you know, with the eight... 608, third best start. She's a second back. I yep. mean, Walker's got a half second lead. I mean, like Kaylee Humphreys did last week. She was mm -hmm. in a, another time zone. And at the moment, Walker's in another time zone. And this skid into eight, all that does is put a parachute in the back of your sled. Now watch him bounce. I mean, the runners are not behind each other. She's got steering challenges. I think there's definitely a school that argues have control of the sled first, worry about speed later. But, try telling the coaches, they're, they're scratching their heads as well. Bree Walker leads from Kim Kalicki and Kim Uran. So we've had our first five sleds down, a new start record, a new track record. Next up, Cynthia Appiah, the 30-year-old former Olympic break woman. She should have the best start in the field. And she does, she does. 5.76. But the second best velocity. 
So that has something to do with the way she got in, got her on that first curve. About 200 now, of a lead, it's down to 200. She had, yeah. We got to it here in December. She took a silver medal behind teammate Melissa Lotholtz in the Europa Cup field of Monobob races. Back, oh, yeah, back. You know, Marsh, she's still. She, oh, there's a Whoa. skid. Watch out there. She steered Whoa. three times in that curve. Uh, you know, Marsh, she doesn't have the experience from the two person sled. So this is new yeah. to, you know, a, a, an elite athlete for sure. And that's the beauty of this sport. It's taken an, uh, an athlete who's never driven, and she's right in the front seat. I bet you, Martin, if she continues her career. You start seeing her in the fat in the front seat. You know, what kind of start team, start time she's going to get. I mean, yeah. this is this is what this model Bob has done. I mean, this is you know the, probably the best. She is the best athlete in the field, and proves it with the start record. She Martin, she didn't step into the sled. She launched herself all the way yeah. into the front. <laughs> a different technique. I Look at the back end there. Yeah. There's your uh, Tokyo Drift. And that's three times she steered here, and she got up a little late. And watch this here. Now watch her head. Watch the way the weight transitions now left to right. You know, that's friction coming over the wall. That's not how to do it. Well, all the brake women who thought they were going to be out of a job, you could end up with two jobs. You could start yourself driving as well. Next up, Najesta Sagava, another former brake woman, but that was a while ago. Fourth World Cup, uh, fourth monobob start for her. She was the gold medalist in Winterberg, 13th in Samaritz, and 11th in Koenigsegg. Now, again, the Winterberg race was not a World Cup field, but it was a strong field of sleds. Silver went to Switzerland's Martina Fontenet in that race, bronze to Katy Bile. The only person not here in the race that is Kaylee's out, that's it. But this is a pretty strong field like last week, Mark. Yeah. And, and on a different track, you know, and then the question is, I mean, Beijing will have one of those Chrysals for the first Olympic Chrysal since Calgary in 88. What type of track? Well, we hear it's very challenging, very meticulous. They call the the Chrysal in Beijing the spiral. All right. I don't know if it's a tight tight one like Altenburg or Koenigsegg. Our producer Martin Verstrate was there. Martin can tell us if it's a long Chrysal, short Chrysal. I, I hear it is huge. And and you know. Be, the, Altenburg and places are so tight because in the 70s, sleds were going much slower than they are now. So Sarah gave up, we reluctant to say second she's... place. Ooh, look at the style. Yeah, so she's, yeah, look at the hands too. So she did a little, well, look at that. I mean, that, well, she didn't get it. Again, they haven't got it down pat getting in here yet. They will. I mean, a little bit of a gymnastics yeah. move almost to get in out of that sled. Yeah. There's going to be a summer of dry land training for Monobob. Yeah, look at that skid. Yeah, below nine, it got a bit away from her. But she's in second place, that 100 was ahead of Cynthia Appiah. Now, what about Katy Bile? Home ice for the Austrian slider, 27 years old. It's her sixth World Cup, uh, beg your pardon, her sixth Monobob race. Bronze in Winterberg and in Eagles in the World Cup field, 15th in Samaritz, but she didn't start in Koenigsegg last week. Fourth best start. She doesn't get great starts. She just steered her on that, going into that curve two, though. I didn't like that. She's a little sloppy on the left side of the entrance to curve three. She's three tenths back. That's all relative to the start. She was you know, behind at the start by 16, 14 hundreds. It, she's got to stop bleeding here to get a you know, top three time. She can't get out to 15 hundreds. 46 still bleeding. Not great speed. She's going to be best down speed. in the pack. She's down near Kim Kalicki right now. Fourth or fifth. 55 hundreds, so she's basically stopped the erosion of time. And 
155, fifth place, 5,500s, 200s behind Kim Kalicki. She beat Kalicki at the start. Appia with that lightning rocket start. She's in third. Hundredth from Sarah Gave, Sarah Ava, Sarah Gave us, so. She's going for a World Cup title tomorrow, Martin. It's no gimme. Yeah. That's her focus, isn't it? And it no, and absolutely it's not a gimme. There's gonna be quite a lot of maths involved, which is not good for me live on air. She doesn't do well on this track. She just, you know, she doesn't have a great relationship on this track. In fact, I'm looking, she's never meddled on this track. In she's got a bronze in the monobob race here in December, bronze in Winterberg before that as well. And that not in the two lands. Like two-person Bob. Yeah. Next up, Andrea Greco for Romania. Now, this is the ninth time she's started a monobob race. She was fourth in Winterberg, sixth in Eagles, 12th in Samaritz, 13th in Koenigsegg. I think every time she drives this sled, more questions than answers, but she should have a decent start as well. The tallest athlete in the competition. 592, third best start, not bad. Twenty hundreds back. Well, that's relative to the uh, 900s behind at the start, so keeps it within 25. She could be a top three. Beyond that limit, six best speed. Boy, the things are chattering down the course. Yeah. Good, quiet exit there. Some of the sleds have been sideways. She's keeping it in the top five. She gets inside of 55, she'll be in the top four. Going to be close, 57, six, but she's she's wow. four hundredths out of fourth. So there's three sleds, 53, 55, 57. Kalicki, Andrew Brill, Andrea Gregg right there. So that's a race within yeah. a race. I was just thinking this must be, else about the newest, must be about the newest sled she's ever driven. Built brand uh, new this autumn. I don't think no, she had, had a, brand had a brand new, she had a brand new singer BTC? sled a couple Maybe. years ago. Or BTC, so. she had a brand new sled. Remember, she was second yeah. last year up in Segulda in the final World yeah. Cup race of the year, the European yeah. Championships. And if she would have been first, she would have had a pension for life. Look at the back end came out. I mean, we, we knew that story. Yeah. Because European Championship in all sports in, in Romania, there's some kind of reward and she missed by like two hundredths out of that too, Martin. Yeah. Oh, well, it was a big deal for Sergei, but it would have been a huge deal for Andrew Greco as well. Our uh, tenth starter is Canada's Melissa Lotholtz, 28 years old, third monobob race. She won the non or the Europa Cup race, let's say, in Innsbruck. What has she got at the start? And he's fifth in Koenigsegg in the world. In Cup field. Last, fifth in Koenigsegg last week, so 80, you know, 87, very, very good time. This is probably the most experienced two-person driver between Walker and Sarah Gabe. No, no, Sarah Gabe has got a lot more experience. Yeah. But a lot of ultras won on this, she's, she's meddled on this track with Kelly Humphreys, right? Yep. As a brakeman. Now she's another friend, front seat. Transition, only 1800s back. This is pretty good. Good speed too. Excellent, excellent, excellent drive there. She should be rewarded with some good speed here. 26, not, I mean. Oh, this could be second She's right the down line. the middle of the track. It is second she is at the second. line. That's Three a really back. good run from Melissa Lotholz. But, boy, Barada Walker. After last week, I thought, oh, the, the World Cup field has caught up with her, but today's race, she has made a statement. I mean, she's not ahead by seven or eight hundreds, Martin. She's ahead by three tenths. And yeah. Lotholz, Lotholz here was only three hundreds, four hundreds behind at the start. 
and couldn't get to her. That didn't help. That's a pretty good mistake up above Kreisel. Very quiet transition here, Martin. That's excellent. Look at the eyes. <laughs> no blinking going on there. Yeah, Melissa Lonholz turning into quite the driver. So it's her or Cynthia Appiah going to the World Championships right now. Advantage Lotholtz in the first of our two heats. Appiah not far away, seven hundreds in it. Ten sleds down and five to go. This is Lana Myers Taylor for the USA. 36 years of age. This is her third monobob race after Samaritz and Koenigsegg because, of course, she wasn't here in Innsbruck in December. She's back home, undoubtedly watching on TV, going, I want to have a go with that. Because she, like Kaylee Humphrey, sees this as double the opportunities. Start, now remember, the start record is Appia. She won't get to that, but I bet you she gets close to Brianna Walker. Yeah. In fact, she's better than Brianna Walker by 300s. Now, silver medal last week in this monobob race. She also had a bronze medal in the two-person. So, uh, but she's 200s back. Look at that. She was 300s ahead. Now she's 200s back. So she made a little bit of driving here. Look to me on the entrance to two, entrance to three. Only four. This is the closest person so far. Wow. To walk, ooh, there's the back end. And now the skid. 14 back. She's got to catch up. Walker on this run. She's going to be, be second, second at the line. Martin. And the gap is 2200s. Okay, very interesting. There was a lot there that she can tidy up, John. I wonder how much more of an improvement Top. Brianna Walker can make. She was 300s ahead at the start, and then 200s down at the next clock. She should have been seven, eight, nine hundreds ahead. So that mistake's up top someplace, Martin. This is eight, nine. You know, and then she, she made a mistake here, but she definitely made a mistake. There's the back end, you know, the Tokyo Drift, as you're calling it. Out of here, then a hard bang of the wall on the exit and a skid. Look at the look at the runner tips. Just, you know, Whoa. that's a lot of pressure on mm -hmm. that one side, and then bang, and then you know somebody's birthday. They're playing birthday music here, Mark. Yeah, is it Alana or Misha McNeil? Are they playing out Alana or playing in Misha? I'm going to have to double check, aren't I? Misha Neil for Great Britain. Fifth in Innsbruck in the race here. Ninth in Samaritz. Sixth in Codex A. She drove a couple of races in the old plank sets in La Plana last March at the end of the season again. Runs down. Oh, takes a long that, time to get in. She's 3,200s down to Brianna Walker. But that's going to be like... 50 hunters at the next clock. And then it's going to be put the sutures on 60 hunters. I mean, she's going to have to. <laughs> she can neutralize it. I mean, she's a good driver. We know that. But uh, 68. So she's just about stopped the bleeding now, Martin. And she, she holds on to 70. She could get in the top eight with some good lines. And those are good lines. But 71 hunters back going to put her around ninth with the Korean. 75. She can't do any more bleeding or she's going to be 10th. And she's 10th. Close, though. 700s from Yorong yep, Kim. Around. It's the two of them in a little island on their own. They're ahead of Makarova of Russia by nearly two tenths and behind Andrea Greco by 1500s. And Greco on the tail of the little battle with Katy Bile and Kim Kalicki. Watch this start though. Now watch, she, how does she, what's her technique? One step and then jump and she missed. See that? She yeah. missed. Now she had, so she had three different times. She missed. She, got, she has to get up again. Her right foot caught and then she got on up the again. top of the cow. Yeah. So she didn't slide in. So her foot stopped on the cow, and she was nowhere near the seat. So 
Again, dry land loading. Uh, you know, it's yeah, not yeah, just yeah. four man. Getting one person into a sled isn't the work of a moment either. Another reason why Mary. I find this model, Bob, very <laughs> interesting. Because it's so yeah. new. And there's so many interesting different new techniques. It's not maybe, yeah. it's not maybe the word that Mariami Yamanka would use as a one-word descriptor. The Olympic champion is not happy with these sleds. Eighth in Innsbruck, 11th in Samritz, well, she 14th hit. in Koenigsegg. Very, very good entry into the sled. So she's got the start technique down. Doesn't have great start times, but uh, eighth best start. Well, Martin, I'm sure the German coaches are looking at her like, come on, this is a metal sport. Yeah. Let's go. I mean, oh, there's a huge mistake up above Kreisel. Six to seven. 5,500's back, Martin. This is this is much like last week. Yeah. Top ten. But that's still a stretch for Mariami Yamanka. The Olympic champion can drive a two-man as good as anyone else, but take the weight out of the back, and she is in trouble. 56.08, 300 quicker than Nisha McNeil, and she started 1,600 better. She should be 4,800 ahead of Nisha McNeil. Going to be a little different driving these things. Going to be a little different oh, God, driving yeah, these that, things that, in Altenburg. Well, the one thing that it's all the drivers uh, say is that these things react like a go-kart compared to any other racing car. They turn so much more readily than a two-man sled. I like it that it's different than the two-man sled. Look at oh, the yeah. skid there. That's into the Chrysler. That's where you're trying to accelerate. And, you know, she threw out a parachute there. Boy. I'm not sure not sure whose yeah. birthday it is, John. It's not Misha's and it's not Alana's, so someone somewhere else. Maybe the oh, well, here's Lisa Marie Bukwitz, Olympic champion, break woman with Mary Army Amanka in Pyeongchang. And now she could, well who knows, maybe in 12 months, take Mary Armour's place as an Olympic driver. Yeah, this is, she's been coming on on the Europa Cup, Martin. A lot of people yeah. talking about her. She won here in January in the Europa Cup race just a couple of weeks ago. She was silver in the Junior Worlds in Samaritz last week. She can drive. Martin, she just went from 900s to 25 to 3600s down. This is, a, this is not good. That start time she had, fifth best start. She should be at least in the top five. And she's yeah. about seventh or eighth right about now. She's not lost sure a lot the of time have... up there, curve two, three, four. Not sure the Germans this is have got top 10, what these sleds require yet. Best German, Kim Kalicki in sixth. Tenth for Lisa Bukwitz, 11th for Mariami Amanka. A hundredth between yeah. them. And yeah. Two German Fifth sleds in start, the top tenth ten. Best finish. None in the top five. That's unusual. Uh, it's it's really uh, Australia, USA, Canada, Russia, Canada. Wow, that's quite a leaderboard. Yeah. But Martin, yeah. she was buried up top here. This is, you saw that tap there, the extra four, and she made a mistake. She went right off the bat. She was 900s down to 2500s down to 1500s down about this point here on the entrance to eight. So sure, her mistakes were made up top. Down below, you know, yes, she she bled some time, but. All right, Lisa Marie Bukvitz, silver medalist in the Junior Worlds, but 10th place here in the first heat, and that may not stay 10th. It was her first World Cup or uh, Monobob World Series race, and it is the first Monobob race for Alicia Rissling as well. She raced in Koenigsegg December 2018 in one of the old plank sleds. She was fifth in the field of 17, but this is the only week, like Lisa Bookvitz, that she's driven this sled. And you wonder, they wow, only have six, six training runs, John. How do you spread out what you need to do for the women's race compared to what you want to do for the monobob? 
to do three in each. What, what, do, they, each what do they do? What, what do they do for the two man or four man? I mean, it's the yeah. same. You know, it's 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 new, Martin. Yep. Yeah, there's strategies yeah. how to push the sleds, how to you know set the sled up. Runners, fat runners, skinny runners on the front back. I like it, um, and I like the fact that we on the leaderboard is not two or three Germans and Americans yeah. totally up there. It's a, it's an Australian on top of the leaderboard. That's why I like this monobot. Lesser countries, right better now. exposure for the sport. And at the line, she drove herself from 11th at the start into 9th. So we only have one German sled in the top 10 now because Lisa Buchwitz is 11th, Mary Amiamanka in 12th. Trust so me, Alicia Riesling, the Germans are not 200s sleeping. Behind, yeah, 200s behind Greco, 600s away from a top six finish in her first ever drive in these things. Not a lot of fault. I mean, she had the 11th best start, the 9th best downtime, so she driving was okay. Looks like she's sitting up a little too high, Martin, maybe. Let's look here. Mm, she's got her... That's eh, not too bad. Not too bad of an exit. Of course, she's tall. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> That's her persona. Wow. Brianna Walker with a start record and a track record. The start record was broken. The track record has not been. Fast is heat in the first run. And that means she will be last to go in the second. All 15 sleds down and dusted. They will go in reverse order of their first heat performance. Both runs counting to see whether Brie Walker gets another gold medal here in Innsbruck. Here's how they line up. Australia lead the USA and Canada with Najesta Segova in fourth, Cynthia Appiah and Melissa Lotholtz. A race within a race there. Whoever is the top Canadian becomes their third sled at the World Champs. Cassie Bile in seventh ahead of Andrea Greco, Alicia Rissling and Kim Uran. And then Lisa Bukowitz and Mary Amiamanka, who together won the Olympic gold in Pyeongchang. Misha McNeil, Anastasia Makarova and Anvan Yunhaus make up the rest of the field. We will see them back on ice shortly. Join us then, an hour or so from now. Till then, from John Morgan, from me, Martin Haven, and the IBSF TV crew, stay safe. We'll see you for the second and deciding run here in Innsbruck to round out the World Cup campaign for Monorail. Thank you.